a small solid spherical marble of mass m and then radius 5 centimeters uh, okay rolls down uh, a loop track okay so you have a circular loop here and then before that you have this curved surface and we are asked to find the height from where it should actually come down rolling so that it completes a vertical circular loop of radius 25 centimeters okay so here i mean we could uh, start uh, with let's say assumed knowledge or what we can do is instead of assuming uh, let's say as this uh, marble rolls down okay so let's say it's starting from somewhere here okay so that's the marble and okay it comes down with some velocity and then it is moving around the circular track it has to complete a vertical circle uh, i think the h here will be the distance the vertical distance between center to center okay so at this point uh, maybe we can say location a the bottommost location is b so between these two uh, locations h is the uh, vertical difference vertical distance between the centers of the marble now <coughs> uh, what we need to really understand here is the radius 5 centimeters of the marble is important even though it is a small they are saying it is a small marble but that's not uh, very small when compared to the radius of the circular loop so that that becomes important now, if you pay attention to the center of mass of the marble, okay, the center of mass of the marble will move around a different circle. Okay, so if, if you see that's the circle uh, traversed by the center of mass of the marble. Okay, so it goes around that circle. Now that circle will have a different radius. So obviously, it will be 25 minus uh, 5 20 centimeters is the radius of that dotted circle okay so we need to be careful here now what i will do is we will take uh, capital r which is the radius of the circular loop as 25 centimeters and small r is the radius of the marble which is 5 centimeters so we can use them later now at the topmost position it will have some velocity, center of mass velocity V. Marble will have center of mass velocity V. And it is also rolling without slipping. So as it is moving to the left, sorry, it is moving, yeah, it is moving to the left. I don't know, sometimes I get confused, okay. So as it is moving to the left, the rotations should be in the uh, clockwise direction so it should have an angular velocity in the clockwise direction so that the point of contact will have tangential velocity to the right and the center of mass velocity is to the left so v will be r omega okay so v will be r omega so that uh, the condition that it is rolling without slipping uh, satisfies okay so at the topmost point another thing that we need to really understand is either uh, you you know the uh, velocity requirement there at the top or you can uh, figure it out okay so if that is the minimum velocity at the topmost position then the normal force applied by the track is not helping maintain that circular path only the gravitational force is providing the necessary centripetal force okay so for a minimum we, we are assuming v is the minimum speed at the top okay so v is the minimum speed at the topmost position at the topmost position So if I do that, <coughs> the gravitational force mg is towards the center and the gravitational force provides the necessary centripetal force here. So we can say mg is mv square over r. Okay, But here 
uh, r is the radius of that uh, green dotted circle okay so we have to be careful here r minus r now we can use the conservation of mechanical energy to get the value of uh, h so if you look at uh, the drop in height okay so this is uh, two times radius of the green circle which is r minus r and between uh, a and c the drop in height is h minus 2 into r minus r okay so we can apply uh, conservation of mechanical energy principles potential energy lost is equal to kinetic energy gained okay so what is the loss in uh, potential energy it is mg into height drop h minus 2 times r minus r okay what is the gain in uh, kinetic energy we have half mv square plus half i omega square so don't forget that okay so we have rotational kinetic energy as well half i omega square now here uh, we can substitute mv square but before that uh, we need to write uh, the value of i and omega as well omega is v over r here so let's substitute that i have mg into h minus 2 times r minus r okay we have half mv square plus half i for a solid sphere it is 2 by 5 mr square and omega is v, v by r so v square over r square i think i made a mistake here so r is small r here okay so not capital r okay so from here on the right hand side if you see i have half and then uh, 1 by 5 so we can write this as uh, 7 by 10 uh, mv square okay so 7 by 10 mv square and mv square we have it here which is mg into r minus r so we can substitute that here 7 by 10 mg into r minus r okay okay so then i think if you look at the equations the left hand side we have mg the right hand side also we have mg so we can ignore that and we will have h minus 2 times r minus r is uh, 7 by 10 into r minus r so now h will be 7 by 10 plus 2 so that is 27 by 10 into r minus r so we know uh, r minus r will be 25 minus 5 that is 20 centimeters so 27 by 10 into 20 centimeters so this should give us 54 centimeters okay so that's the uh, height from which the marble should drop